on YouTube world Austin Lewis here coming to you guys yet again with another video for those of you that are brand new to this channel make sure and do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button on this video as well as come subscribe and as you guys saw in the title as well as the thumbnail I'm going to be talking to you guys on how exactly to turn this into cash now again I'm gonna be sharing with you the four simple methods that I know how to take an iPhone and flip it for cash. Now, let's dive right into this video and not waste any more time. Now, here's one of the simplest ways to actually make at least $500 a week flipping iPhones. Yes, it's going to be flipping iPhones. Now, obviously, I've done this previously in my past. I obviously don't do it currently, uh, but it is a phenomenal way to be able to not take advantage just help the other people or other individuals out. I know there's a lot of people, unfortunately, that break their phone. They can't afford to fix it. So what do they do? They essentially sell it. Now, you might be the other end of that and you have an extra 100 or 200, 300 or 400 or 500 or 1,000 dollars. Whatever that initial investment cost startup could be, and you particularly know somebody or can easily call somebody to find out if they can fix a cracked screen or a cracked back or a cracked side and essentially refurbish the iPhone. Therefore, rather than selling it as a hurt iPhone, you're actually selling it as a fairly new iPhone. Now the beautiful part about this entire industry, a beautiful part about actually being able to flip iPhones to make an extra $500 a week is you can essentially flip just about any phone you want. You can flip the new phones, you can flip the older phones. Again, a newer phone is going to be more expensive obviously, but an older phone you can buy one, two, three, or four of them. So I'm going to share with you guys the four simple methods again that you can utilize to actually go out there and make a minimum of $500 a week flipping iPhones. So let's dive into step number one and here's what it is. Number one is going to be finding the iPhones. Number two is going to be pricing the iPhones. Number three is going to be posting your ad to sell your iPhone. And then number four is going to be having that checklist that you have to make sure that you check box every single time that you meet up with somebody or you go to sell your iPhone. And so stay tuned to the very end of this video because I'm going to be breaking down those top four. So number one, let's talk about where you're going to find your iPhones for you to be able to essentially buy at a discounted price just because it is damaged, it is broken, or it is not working, whatever the case may be. First of all, you're going to go want to find a relationship partner where you can either have somebody fix the iPhones for you or you're going to end up fixing the iPhone yourself. Now again, you can order a lot of parts on for iPhones on Amazon or Alibaba or really any other uh, marketplace out there that allows you to uh, buy, you know, screen savers or back-end phones or whatever the case may be. If that's something you're interested in doing, otherwise just find somebody that knows how really well fix iPhones, pay them a premium price so that they can turn and burn your phones faster than the rest of their clients. The more you pay, the faster they'll get it done, the more quicker you're going to receive your money. So there's a lot of ways that you can actually find your iPhones. The first way that you can actually find your iPhones that are kind of distressed essentially is you can actually go on a platform called OfferUp. You can also go on eBay. You can also go on Craigslist. You can even post on Facebook Marketplace this ad right here. You post that and other people are going to be reaching out to you to sell you their iPhone. Obviously, another great platform is going to be Instagram. A lot of people like myself just have very old phones just laying around. I think this is like an iPhone 4. I'm not even sure. Just has my charts on it for trading. But this is an iPhone 4. I would probably, if I were to sell this, I would sell this for 100 bucks. It's not an iPhone 4. This is an iPhone 6, actually. iPhone 6. And this iPhone 6, I probably could sell for anywhere from $200 to $350, depending. It's in perfect shape. I would probably sell it for $100. There's your $250 or $200 profit right there. 
Now, obviously, when it comes to posting an ad or when it comes to reaching out to individuals and offering, your goal is to get the iPhone at one of the cheapest costs potentially possible. Now, again, if you have any questions about uh, saying, hey, Austin, uh, there's this iPhone 8, okay, and it's the smaller version, but, you know, at the same time, uh, they want $150 for it. Is that a good price? All you guys actually have to do is go over to eBay, look up iPhone 8, and price match it right from there. So if you see that it's got a cracked screen and your guy that you go to that fixes your cracked screens for you can do a cracked screen for $80 and the guy is selling his cracked iPhone for $100 but on eBay they're selling for $275, well there you go, that is almost $100 in profit that you can automatically guarantee you you are going to receive when you go click sold on the iPhones in that eBay platform. Now, if you're gonna go the ad route, then make sure that you're posting anywhere from one to three times a day. I know it sounds like a lot, but the more ads you have, obviously, the more eyeballs you're going to get, the more offers you're going to be given. If you guys are getting some value from this video right now, make sure and do me a favor and smash the thumbs up. Make sure and go subscribe if you guys are brand new as well. Make sure and share this video with five of your friends and let's jump right into number two. And number two is what I was talking to previously is just pricing your iPhones. All you're going to do is just leverage the eBay platform to go look at the most recently sold items when it comes to what it is that you're searching. So if you come across an iPhone, uh, iPhone 11, Pro, an iPhone 11 Pro, and it's a smash screen, it's got scratches at the bottom, it needs a little paint, it needs a new screen, and the guy wants to sell it, for example, $250, you know you are going to have to put $100 into this iPhone, so you are going to get it at $350. Let's just say on every one of your iPhones that you want to buy, you say, Austin, I want to make $100 per iPhone. Well, now you know that you're going to have to be at a price point of around $450. Obviously, if that's even feasible, you're gonna go over to eBay, you're gonna search iPhone 11 Pro. What is the most recent iPhone 11 Pro even sell for? Oh, it sells for more than $450, great. You can either increase the price or you can uh, be in the somewhat ballpark on what they are actually going for, or most importantly, what they were most recently sold for on eBay. Now, just remember that eBay takes 10% of whatever it is that you sell, so you're gonna have to account for that and fluctuate your price based off of that, but that is gonna be the easiest way to actually be pricing out your phones that you see, not on Craigslist, not on OfferUp, but all on eBay, because eBay will show you what was actually sold. So, let's move on to number three, and that is the meetup checklist. And one of my biggest uh, suggestions to those of you that are actually gonna be meeting up with these clients of yours, and you're gonna be buying an iPhone, or selling an iPhone, either which way, is meet up at the carrier that they say that the iPhone is actually with. It's never a bad idea to take the iPhone and say, if somebody says, hey, this is Verizon, um, this is a Verizon iPhone, then obviously, go to Verizon, and if it is a Verizon iPhone, great. It's not gonna mess up the resale of the iPhone. So here's your meetup checklist. Number one is you're gonna obviously make sure that it is the right phone carrier. Number two is going to be checking the model number. And then obviously number three is just gonna be the condition of the actual iPhone. Obviously, make sure and be aware of the iPhone. Make sure you don't get something that is unfixable, but make sure you get something that is fixable. Number four is going to be unlocking the iCloud account. So make sure that you can actually unlock the iPhone, make sure that the passcode works. That leads into number five, making sure the camera works. Making sure that the camera works because people do not want to buy a camera or people do not want to buy an iPhone if the camera does not work. Make sure the sound is working. That is crucial because if somebody gets a phone call or somebody wants to watch a YouTube video or somebody wants to watch TikTok, then obviously making sure that the sound is working is absolutely crucial. You want to make sure that all parts of the touch screen is working. I know a lot of people get away selling their iPhones on OfferUp, on Craigslist, on uh, Facebook Marketplace, knowing that the top right corner, or the L, or the Z, or the A, 
on their phone when they touch the screen does not work. So make sure and go through each keyboard and play with every one, making sure that it actually works. And then obviously is going to be bill of sale. Make sure you get a bill of sale when you buy an iPhone or you sell an iPhone. That way you can keep track of obviously one, profits and losses. And number two, you have a bill of sale from somebody just in case they supposedly stole it, as they would say. Um, and you're buying something that you know at your end of the day that is actually legit. And obviously, once all you have those checklists check marked and you are going to buy the person's phone and you're going to resell the iPhone, obviously, one stop shop is going to be eBay. Just understand and take into account that they are going to take 10% of the profits. But if you don't want to resell your iPhone, you can post it on Instagram, you can post it on Facebook Marketplace, you can post it on OfferUp, and you can obviously post it on Craigslist. Now, obviously, once you get the broken iPhone or once you get a damaged iPhone, then you are going to be able to get it fixed. Go get it fixed by somebody that you like, trust, and respect. Reach out to a couple different companies and say, hey, I'm actually going to be creating a business. My business is going to be flipping iPhones or fixing and flipping iPhones. If that's something that you're interested in, my goal is, let's just say you have $1,000 a week or $1,000 a month or $2,000 a month or $500 a month to be able to put into iPhones that you can actually fix, repair, and then flip, then obviously telling that particular company or small business, say, hey, I want a long-term partnership. I want you to fix my iPhones. I want you to have all of my business. I don't want to go anywhere else. What is the best deals that you can get me? How quickly can you get me the phones repaired? And from there, you have a partnership and then there you have a legitimate business. Ladies and gentlemen, again, if you guys got value from this video, make sure and drop the comment section down below. Make sure and smash the thumbs up button on this YouTube video as well as come subscribe if you guys are brand new. Austin Lewis here saying we'll see you guys in a future YouTube video. Hug me.